So, um, my name is Faris Al Ahtab. I'm a assistant professor of medicine research fellow at the Mayo Clinic. I'll be talking about our research study that's recently uh, has been accepted in the Mayo Clinic proceedings. That that will be in the uh, March issue of the Mayo Clinic proceedings. The title of our research was uh, Treatment Effect in Earlier Trials of Patients with Chronic Medical Conditions, and this is a meta-epidemiologic study. Uh, with the continuous improvement in human life expectancy over the years globally, uh, there's been an increase in the prevalence of patients with uh, chronic medical conditions. Now, that carries with it uh, a challenge of taking care of these patients and the increasing morbidity and mortality faced by these patients. That obviously requires uh, proper medical care, uh, that is usually done through shared decision-making process that relies on the best available evidence. However, there's been a, uh, we've noticed a, a phenomenon in the medical literature in the, in the research evidence um, that shows that earlier studies about a particular new drug, new device, or new interventions uh, seems to show exaggerated results early on. Uh, so what we did, we tried to sort of study that phenomenon in the medical uh, evidence, body of evidence, uh, relating to therapeutic interventions in patients with chronic medical conditions. Um, so we tried to look at about seven and a half years of medical research in the top ten general uh, medical journals, um, and we looked at about 2,700 systematic reviews and meta-analyses, and that is a systematic review is basically a study that encompasses and summarizes a body of evidence about a particular topic or question. So we, s we, we looked at these uh, 2,700 studies. We eventually included 70 of them that by, you know, by turn included 930 clinical trials, uh, including a total of about 66,000 participants. So uh, what we found was that um, this phenomenon of early exaggerated results in the, in the, in the medical literature actually was prevalent in about 37%, a whopping 37% of these studies. In technical terms, we found that uh, about 30 37% of the uh, systematic reviews and analyses that we included actually showed that the earlier two results in, in that particular chain of evidence showed the largest effect size or the largest heterogeneity. And we also tried to dive a little bit deeper. We tried to look at potential factors that could explain the development of this phenomenon in the medical literature. And we found that it actually did not really correlate with, with the factors that we studied. And we looked at the size of the clinical trial. We looked at uh, risk of bias and just the, the quality and the methods of the conduction of these trials. We looked at whether these clinical trials were single versus multicentric. Uh, we also looked at the funding source of these clinical trials, whether it was for-profit, such as industry, or not-for-profit source. Um, we also looked at the publication bias and whether that could be sort of a, a potential factor that explained this phenomenon. We actually found that this phenomenon did not correlate with any of these potential factors. So this phenomenon, this, these, this early exaggerated results in, in these studies about uh, chronic medical conditions, seems to be still quite a bit ambiguous and vague as to why is it happening. Um, as a take home message from our, our research and our study is that uh, we have a very strong emphasis and recommendation to stakeholders, particularly physicians taking care of patients with chronic medical conditions, that you should be cautious about new evidence or, or early evidence about uh, new drugs or interventions or devices or surgeries and just be cautious as to what these studies tell you because they could potentially be exaggerating. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.